EA Sports coverage of PGA Tour Golf finds us in the heartland of the U.S. at historic Southern Hills Country Club in the bustling city of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hello again and welcome. I'm Rich Lerner. We will check in with Nota Begay III and Diona Steven as we move along. But I'm pleased, as always, to be joined in the 18th Tower by a man who won 15 times around the world, Frank Navalo. And Frank, looking forward to what should be a fun afternoon of golf. Yeah, very much so, Rich. When you waited all morning, those afternoon rounds are a little special, aren't they? I'm really looking, though, for today to see if they come out of the gates nice and quick, that's for sure. I know the finish here is always important, but get out of the gates quick and then see if you can finish the job this afternoon. And that is just what you're envisioning when you're on the range. That's positioned nicely in the right side of the fairway. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. 127 yards, that's what he's looking at down the flagstick and the pin on the back portion in the left-hand side of this green. Oh man, it looked good initially, but rolled off the green and back into the fairway. That stings. Okay, that's finished off for a par. Up next, the 500 yard par five second, maybe the most challenging driving hole on the course. 225 yard carry over the bunkers and a winding creek that turns and parallels the fairway. Another good tee shot for him to start the round as he gets another fairway here at the second.
This is where club selection is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze. Oh, just the strike, the sound of it. And the ball does the rest, great shot. From four feet for birdie. It is early, but he kind of needed that one, had to take advantage here, and he did just that. So good work, and he's one under through two. Moving on to the par four third, 444 yards, sharp dog leg left, requiring a long tee shot in the right center of the fairway if you want a good look at this bunker green on your approach. No issues here, that is into the fairway. Now from just under 100 yards, he'll stare down his second. This is looking really good. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, uh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. So now eyeing this one for birdie. Oh, that's a nice roll right there. That's a second straight birdie here in the early part of his round. Gets into two under through his first three holes. Doesn't look like a whole lot on the card this fourth hole at 377 yards, but uneven lies. That's what makes it so challenging. It's been good driving so far. That ball bounces into the rough, so just the first fairway miss to date. So from the rough, his second here at the fourth. This is why so many players today favor distance. Good tee shot down there, nice and close to the green. Even though it's coming out of the rough, excellent chance for a birdie.
Oh boy, that seared the left edge, but it didn't want to go in. Okay, that one cleaned up without any issue, and that is a par. This one jumps off the scorecard, doesn't it? How about 656 yards, a par five. This fifth hole is the longest and one of the hardest on the golf course here at Southern Hills. Dog legs slightly to the left. If you can hit it long, if you can hit it straight, I know you can, well then you'll have a chance to make birdie. Yeah, nothing to fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Now from better than 300 yards out, a second to the par five. I'm not sure he got every bit of that three-way trying to get home to this par five and two, but still in the ball game for a birdie. This from about 10 feet. And that is nicely done right there. A very strong start to his round. Three under to his first five holes. On now to the first par three on the course, the 226 yard sixth. This is a deceiving hole. It looks fairly flat to the eye, but there's actually a good 15 to 20 feet of drop from T to green. So consider clubbing down because par cannot be taken for granted if you run one over the back. Certainly had enough power, just didn't have any touch. Yep, good work not to let that get away, and that's in for a par. Moving now to the 443-yard par 47. The line tee shot to the top of the hill in the center left of the fairway is ideal, where a mid to long iron second shot will lead to a well-protected green.
We're going to be watching this one intently. Those trees are like brick walls today. Hit that and went straight down into the rough. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. 152 yards left for him. Tough to generate spin from this lie with so much rough. Yeah, good concentration there. That's a distance where a putt could get away, but that, in for a par. This is a demanding hole. Par 3-8, 220 yards, all you want. Boy, that one was coming in hot, and it winds up carrying over the back of the green. Okay, can't take putts that length for granted, but that's in for a par. Wrapping up the front side here at Southern Hills with the par 4 ninth at 395 yards. It's a dog leg to the right. And this is all about placement off the tee. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Ran out of fairway and into the rough. Big hit, though. 
So from the rough, his second at nine. Yes, yeah, smart play from that distance. Just use the putter to make sure you get the line, and this one goes down for a birdie. This par 4 10th at Southern Hills is 406 yards, and it may not be a driver off the tee. Nope, that wasn't the right line, and he'll pay the price as this ball gonna run off the fairway and into the bunker. After a big drive, he'll dig in for a second out of the sand. That's how you can take advantage of this course. Big drive, fine bunker shot, and a good look coming up for a three. Yes, that is how you pay off a great bunker shot. That's in for a birdie. First par three on the back nine is the 173-yard 11th. Shortest hole on the course, requiring pinpoint accuracy because this small green is surrounded by four bunkers.
Oh, this might be close. Oh, and a very rare mistake in what has been a terrific round to this point, as that is going to be into the water. Okay, so now after the drop and the penalty stroke, this will become his third shot now at the par three. Yeah, that's a good escape right there. Out of bounds off the tee, but in the end, it leads to just the one drop shot. Well, very simply, this 12th hole here at Southern Hills is regarded by so many as one of the best par fours in the world. 461 yards. The 12th is as good as it gets. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. From the fairway, Iona, this is second. Yes, it's 126 yards left to the flag. Pin smack bang in the middle. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Sizable putt from 16 feet. So early on the backside here at the 12th hole, missed opportunity. Oh, heartbreak there. That catches the left edge but stays out.
the under on the day. Moving now to the 632 yard par 513. Maybe the last real good birdie opportunity of the round. Big drive on the slight dog leg left hole will leave an opportunity to reach the green into, but not without risk. Short, and there's a chance to land in one of the two puns guarding the green. That will do just fine. Now, after the big drive, this a good distance here for a second to the par five. Got every bit of that fluid all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. Doesn't look like a lot of movement to this one. It's for Eagle. Not much left here for birdie. Yes, a two putt birdie. That's in for a four. Par 3 14th is an excellent hole, a long one at 230 yards. Trust me, you're happy if you make three here. That's a fun tee shot to hit right there. You know the wind is at your back. You tee it high and just let it go. Get it up there in the jet stream, and that's just what he did. He's going to love that. Yeah, the good play continues. Now to five under on the day. Now to the par 4 15, 417 yards, dog leg, and you have to keep this one in play. It might be in the rough, but that was absolutely crushed. See what he can do with this one. His second at the 15th. Just want to avoid the flyer lie coming out of that rough.
Looking to splash this softly onto the green. Oh, that is very well done. That was not a short bunker shot, but it is inside a foot. And he will go ahead and tap that in. Sometimes when you're hot, you're hot. Great sand save lets him walk away with par. We begin the finishing stretch here at Southern Hills with a 567 yard par 516, requiring a long and accurate drive. Have to carry a gentle slope 245 yards off the tee for a good look at the green. That is right and way offline. Be a little disappointed with that because it lands in the rough and it appears to be fairly thick over there. This one's looking good. That is a marvelous shot. Look at that, Frank. You know, sometimes on a par five, you're happy to just be home, maybe 50, 60 feet away. You take your two putts and move on. Uh, here, you're thinking about Eagle getting out of there with a three. Yeah, just imagine if he can roll this one in. What a well-played hole it will be. That is a disappointment inside of 10 feet to not be able to get that one down. Chance now for another birdie. Okay, mission accomplished there. Two putts and a birdie at the par five. Well, this 17th at Southern Hills is regarded as one of the best short par fours in the world. 371 yards. You can see it dog legs to the right. There's water trouble. There's tree trouble on the right. If you try to cut off too much, the ideal spot is down the left side of the fairway. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Good chance to get one in close from here. This is second. Here we go, seven footer for birdie. Just five feet left. Hmm, didn't trust the read there, and that's going to cost him. How about five under par for the day? 
Well, in championship golf, you want the finishing hole to be a hard-earned four. That's what we have here at Southern Hills. 491 yards with an elevated green. Ah, that hit that tree hard and bounced straight into the rough. So likely no chance to spin this one as he gets set for his second at 18. And that one barely makes the front of the green. Do you realize if you just miss hit the middle of the club, by a quarter of an inch, you lose 10%. That's right, 10%. Now this for another birdie. Nope, that was never going to climb that hill, and he has left himself a tester coming up. Ah, uh, that's a good putt to save par here at 18. And that will finish off a very solid round, five under 66. Well, that'll wrap it up for us today. We saw a lot of great golf, Frank. Uh, the course was good. It was gettable for some. But, uh, you know, in the end, it really gave you what you deserve, just the way we want it. And that'll do it for our entire team. I'm Rich Lerner. Until next time.